What's up everyone, Kevin right here from Bitcoin for Beginners, and today I have a really special video for you, and that's why you should use VPN in the world of crypto. And we also are working with a company called NordVPN that's gracious enough to offer free accounts to our community. So if you want to win some free VPN accounts that are from a top-notch paid service, then more information at the end of this video. So what are VPNs? For those of you who don't know, those stand for Virtual Private Networks. So if you're using the internet and connecting to normal networks, people can potentially see your traffic. But with VPNs, you connect to a private network. And so that means two things. One, your traffic is encrypted. And two, you get a new IP address so that hides your location. Because IP addresses can tie you to different locations at a surprisingly specific scale. And so normally when you're using VPNs, you can select from a list of global servers and connect to those. And so those servers are going to act kind of like the middlemen for your internet traffic. Let's take a look at this graphic that I made to make things a little bit more clear. So you got your computer right there on the left side, and you have a pseudo connection to the internet, but instead your traffic flows to the VPN server and back. And they make requests for you for various content on websites, servers, etc. And they are the ones who are connected to the actual internet. And if various traffic comes in that should be blocked, they usually have a firewall too, so to block it before it hits your computer. And so that's kind of how this approach works. You have the VPN server there as the middleman making and receiving requests for you. And so to the eyes of the rest of the internet, you're not actually making any data transfers. It's the VPN server. They can't tell that you're doing it and they can't tell your location. So just in general, what are some use cases for VPN? Well, there are many scenarios. You might want to access content without being censored, get past geo restrictions like Netflix. There might be security concerns for public Wi-Fi like Starbucks or the airport, government censorship if you're in China, internet usage tracking, and much more. But honestly, you should really use it all the time for best practice. If you have a good service, you can't even tell that it's there. But what about crypto-specific use cases? Well, Bitcoin and crypto are not actually anonymous because you have public addresses and if those can be linked to you somehow, then there goes your privacy and anonymity because people can use blockchain analysis to kind of track your flow of coins and payments. And so your transactions do actually include the IP address of the user and Bitcoin nodes, for example, can see this. So that's why it's a good idea to use VPN when sending Bitcoin transactions so you can hide your real IP address. Additionally, VPNs also utilize strong encryption for better security, which is a good idea while making financial payments. So just to introduce to you NordVPN and why we're looking at paid VPN services in the first place. Well, that's because free VPNs oftentimes may compromise your usage data. Think about it. There must be some incentive for them to offer free service. They have to make money somehow. So there are a lot of paid VPN services out there, NordVPN being one of them, but it's a really feature rich one and it has good reviews online. Go take a look, go Google it yourself. No data logging, dedicated IPs, 24 seven customer support, unlimited bandwidth, encryption, and it works on all devices. And so to the giveaway announcement that y'all have been waiting for, you can go sign up at nordvpn.org slash Kevin and you get 77% off three year subscriptions with the discount code Kevin. You can use that as well. That's a pretty large amount off. But also, they're giving three free one-year accounts to you guys, our community. So all you need to do to qualify is to leave a comment below with your thoughts on VPN in the world of crypto. I will use a YouTube comment picker in a few days, maybe like five days or so, and I will randomly choose three to give away free accounts to. And then I will just message you guys on YouTube or some other way, or try to get in contact with you some other way, and give you the key codes for the free one-year accounts. Yes, completely free. And so to wrap up this presentation, I just want to go to a live demo and show you the interface of NordVPN. I've been using it so far, and I like it a lot. So here you are, show main window. It just shows a map, and you can scroll around. I'm actually connected to Canada right now, but they have a lot of options in Europe, all over Asia too. You can have a country list depending on what global server you want to connect to, and then kill switch, advanced settings. Pretty simple, 
but that's what makes good VPN clients. You're just supposed to be able to log on, use it, and gather all the benefits without having to deal with a lot of different buttons or settings. And so I hope you like this. Once again, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you next time.